Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer channel episode and I am delighted in this episode to bring you in-person royal engagements for the first time since the COVID-19 outbreak. Today is Wednesday the 17th of June 2020 and many of these engagements actually took place yesterday. So I'm going to do in this video a big royal roundup and I really am delighted to bring you these engagements. And for our first story today, we are going to be taking a look at the Duchess of Gloucester. Now, the Duchess of Gloucester did not attend this event in person. The photograph is an old photograph. However, ahead of Learning Disability Week, the Duchess of Gloucester, who is patron, spoke to the Papworth Trust last week about how their services have moved online since lockdown. Her Royal Highness also heard about their new doorstep dancing classes, providing exercise and leisure at a social distance and those exercise classes sound really amazing. Next we head to our first in-person royal engagement. The Princess Royal who is Colonel-in-Chief of the Royal Logistic Corps visited the Duke of Gloucester barracks where she met personnel who have been paying their part in the British Army response to the pandemic. Over the past months the Royal Logistic Corps personnel have provided support to regional testing sites worked with the NHS and contractors to deliver the new Nightingale hospitals and stepped in as ambulance drivers. The Princess Royal was dressed casually for the engagement. On the 16th of June 2020, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall visited Gloucestershire Royal Hospital and thanked key workers who have been working on the front line of the COVID-19 pandemic. During the socially distanced visit, the Duchess said, there is nothing like being able to thank the NHS staff face to face, even if the choreography is a little bit different. They are Britain at its best. The Gloucestershire Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust tweeted, what an absolute privilege for health and social care staff, key workers and volunteers to meet their Royal Highnesses this morning, their first public engagement since lockdown. Thank you for lifting all our spirits and recognising our work. Charles and Camilla said that while it's nice to be back to Royal duties in person, that they still miss shaking people's hands. And Camilla said that she has been able to see her grandchildren again, but she has not yet hugged them. Prince Charles also revealed how he lost his sense of smell and taste when he caught coronavirus and is still experiencing it now. The Duke of Cambridge, Prince William, was also out in person yesterday. They tweeted, Thank you to the staff of King's Lynn Ambulance, Queen Elizabeth Hospital for welcoming the Duke of Cambridge to their ambulance station and sharing so candidly their experiences over recent months in responding to the Covid-19 outbreak. Um, The Duke heard from the East England Ambulance crew about the impact on their mental health and well-being, the support they have received from members of the public and local businesses, as well as help from volunteering networks. William also told how he and Catherine have launched Our Frontline to provide mental health support for frontline staff and key workers. Also, one of those set-piece events which we fondly look forward to each year in seeing the royal family out and about in person is Royal Ascot. Now, the Ascot racehorse tweeted, We are honoured that Her Majesty the Queen has, as normal, written the introduction to our race cards. The Queen wrote, I send my best wishes to the thousands of racing professionals and enthusiasts who will join me in celebrating this year's Royal Ascot. In these challenging times, we are once again delighted to welcome the best horses and jockeys from across the world and pay tribute to those who have helped make this race meeting possible. 
This year, Ascot will feel different for many, as it is so often a chance for friends, families and colleagues to gather together and enjoy a shared passion. I am sure, however, that with the valiant efforts of the organisers, owners, trainers and stable staff, it will remain one of Britain's finest sporting occasions and a highlight of the racing calendar. To everyone attending Royal Ascot in person or virtually, I hope you have a most enjoyable and unique week of racing. Signed, Elizabeth R. In other news, we have a video message from the Duchess of Cambridge, who says, We have just over 24 hours left before the whole still entry window closes tomorrow on the 18th of June at 6pm UK time. You have the final chance to submit your images to help capture the spirit of the nation and what everyone is going through at this time. So many amazing entries to hold still over the last few weeks, but it isn't too late to take part. So please take a moment to capture what life's like for you. I can't wait to share the final 100 images with you. As always, thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit the bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. Also, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. So from me in Shropshire, to you all and goodbye.